This video is part three of the project to create an Etch-a-Sketch game in Scratch. In part two, you learn to move the sprite around the stage using the up and down and the left and right arrow keys. So far, the sprite doesn't draw anything. To make it do that, we use the pen down block. If I click on that now, and move the sprite. It starts to draw a line as it moves. The Etch-a-Sketch game is beginning to take shape. But one question you might be asking is, how do I start a new drawing? For that, we would maybe like to move the sprite to the centre of the stage, and then erase all the sketching we've done so far. We saw last time that we move the sprite by handling key presses on the arrow keys, and we described the code as an event handler. What we need now is an event where we can put the blocks that will do the work of resetting the stage. You could choose a key press event like space or zero or the letter R for reset, but there's another way that tells Scratch that you want to start again. This uses the green flag at the top right hand corner of the screen. And there's a control block that lets you choose what happens when you click on the green flag. It, it's this one that I dragged to the script area in the first exercise of the project. So now let's build our initialization script. We want to move the sprite to the centre of the stage, and we can do this by adding a go-to block with X and Y positions set to zero. Next, we add a clear block to remove all existing drawing from the stage. Finally, we want to make sure that the pen is down and that it has the colour and width that we choose. So here's a pen down block, a set pen colour to block, and a set pen size block. Remember we can click on this square to choose the colour, and we can type the width in this box here. All of these blocks will run when I click on the green flag. If I click here now, you can see that we're ready to start a new sketch. And the sprite draws on the stage when it moves, with a pen that's the colour and width that we've set in the initialization block. And when I click on the green flag again, it starts a new sketch. That's it for this exercise. As well as making the sprite draw on the stage, you learnt that sometimes you need to provide a way to reset or initialize the stage and the sprites, and the way to do this is in the green flag event handler. 